guys, it's Hannah here, and I know that the title of this video is quite radical and maybe even a little controversial, especially within the planning community that I happen to be a part of, <laughs> but please keep watching so that I can explain myself. So, for the year of 2020, I decided to make a little, or maybe not so little, New Year's resolution for myself. I usually don't make New Year's resolutions, but this one is something I've thought about for quite a while, actually. But before I start to explain, I want to have a little disclaimer. This video that you're watching right now is based on my own experience and my circumstances. And I am not trying to speak for someone else at all. I'm just sharing my own thoughts for myself with you. The biggest reason why I'm making this video is to be able to hold myself accountable in a future where hopefully I have finished this challenge or journey and I can say I made it and I did it and it worked. <laughs> Personally, I just find it a lot easier to keep a promise to myself when I tell that promise to someone else because then that person can check in and hold me accountable as well and that's what I want you guys to do. I want you you to keep me accountable for what I'm saying right now because I could easily slip off the slope of what I'm trying to avoid for this upcoming year. Um, but that's why I'm making this video. So that's the disclaimer. Now I want to get into why I'm doing this. So I already spent most of 2019 not buying any new stickers. I was busy with a lot of other things. It was a busy year in my personal life, most of all, and work life as well. And I simply just didn't have time to keep up with new releases and stuff. But for the past couple of years, I've felt stress, honestly, when it comes to feeling the need to buy the new pretty sticker kit and other planner accessories too, for that matter. But after taking a break from the planner community in 2019, I came out and I, well, I came back really and realized that I survived, <laughs> that I can live without buying new stickers and new things, which sometimes seems like when you're in the middle of everything, you kind of forget that sometimes, at least I did. <laughs> so now I want to take that way of thinking and making it into a challenge. And to make it really clear, I have listed up the main reasons why I'm doing this. And that's what I'm going to go through right now. The first reason why I'm doing this is to challenge myself. A sentence that have kind of been in my thoughts for a long time is, wow, I have so many stickers. I could probably last a whole year without buying any new stickers at all. And I wouldn't even miss anything. And I wonder like, what if I did go a whole year without buying any new stickers? And now I just want to do less talking or thinking and more action, doing, actually doing this. The second reason is simply to use what I have. Kind of an obvious one. I already have so much and I want to use it. I have a lot of pretty things. I have a lot of pretty sticker kits and I want to use them, but I feel like I never get to because there's always something else coming in. And that's, I guess, why it's been, it's been piling up so much. I simply have more than I could possibly use. I don't go through sticker kits as fast as some people do. I mean, if you do like Erin Condren style, especially like no white space planning, then I think you could use up one sticker kit per week almost. But like for a big sticker kit, like six sheets, I, that takes me many weeks to finish. It takes me, especially now when I'm in a, a personal planner, uh, it takes me, I don't know, I could use one sticker kit for probably maybe even a month. And then thinking about how many kits I own, it's like, oh my god, it would take me forever to use them all up if I go in that pace. And still buy more on top of that. <laughs> like, for example, I already have probably like, I think, three unused Valentine's kits, several Easter kits, and uh, like summer and Christmas and other like themed kits. I have multiples of that and I only need one per year. Not even one. I have leftovers from previous years too. So it's like, what am I gonna do about all this? I just have to use it. 
And I guess a 2.1, a little add-on reason onto the use what I have. I'm really bad at using what I have because I've had this like... I don't know, I want to use it, but I also don't because it's also pretty and once it's used, it's used mentality. And that mentality is not good, especially when you buy stuff that's meant to be used. So I need to kind of stop that and... In 2019, I actually got really good at that. I just started using what I had, what I wanted to use. Don't wait for it. Do it now. You live now. Like, you you know, like, I've had a wrong mentality about this whole thing. And I need to change that. Um, so that's also why, like, use what you have. Not just what you have, but actually, like, focus on an underlying use. <laughs> use it. The third reason why I'm doing this is economy. Now, I don't want to get too personal, but stickers can cost a lot of money if you buy a lot of them. I think everybody knows this and can agree with me on this. No matter what type of economy you have personally, stickers can cost a lot. And for myself, I am currently a student. I'm in Bible school for one more semester. But after that, I'm actually quite unsure of what my economical status will be. So I just kind of need to be smart about money, specifically. The fourth reason why I am doing this is to reduce stress. I mentioned it a little bit already. Having this many things stresses me out sometimes. And this past weekend, I went through a lot of old like subscription boxes and kits. A lot of my sticker kits come from subscriptions. Like I've had the Happy Scrappy uh, subscription kit for a couple years. And then I subscribed to the sticker kit specifically and not just a planner kit so i got like really like like one kit per month i'm also subscribed to the simply gilded box which also comes with a small kit and i used to be subscribed to the little bits box before it was cancelled and that was also like a sticker kit that month so for a while i got three sticker kits new per month and i still bought more on top of that, from favorite shops like Hello Petite Paper or Lovely Rose Prints, which are some of my favorites. They make gorgeous stickers. I mean, they're so pretty, but I was never able to use it because I always had something new coming in and I just could never use it in the pace that I needed in the pace that they were coming in. That's been a problem. And I've gotten really stressed out about that as well. So I'm hoping to just stop, like make a shop stop on stickers that that's gonna reduce some stress and I can feel like, okay, it's not coming in lots of kits. I can look over, see what I have and shop my stash. That's gonna be a really fun experience actually. And the fifth and final reason that I'm doing this, it's quite a big reason and something I need to learn and practice more, gratitude. It's something I try to practice every day um, think about what I'm grateful for today and like you can have this like every morning when you wake up what are you grateful for or when you go to bed what happened today what am I grateful for today you know that kind of stuff but for me I feel like when I constantly look for new things and don't appreciate the things I have I feel like I am not grateful for what I have already I can't appreciate what I have enough so that I feel like I have to buy more, if you know what I mean. So that's also gonna be interesting for me to see how that goes. And if I feel less stress and less, or less stress and more gratitude, I mean, um, like at the end of 2020, and when I can look back and see how this challenge went, it shouldn't really be a challenge because I, I, I won't be without stickers, I just won't be buying more. The challenge with will be for me not to like impulse buy a super pretty sticker kit from Hello Petite Paper, for example, because I love her style and her kit. I also want to support her. Like there's so many sticker shops, they're so kind, nice people. So those were the five biggest reasons why I won't be buying stickers this upcoming year. And I know a, a whole year, it's a long time. Sometimes I wonder, do I know what I've gotten myself into? But when I went through my sticker stash this past weekend, um, I was just, and that was just like half of what I have. And I just, oh my goodness, this year is going to be very good for me, I hope. But there are going to be some exceptions. I won't be buying new kits purposefully, but I won't subscribe to 
the current subscriptions I'm subscribed to just because they happen to include some stickers. Like Simply Gilded. I love the Simply Gilded box. It brings me joy every single month and it's so nice quality and pretty things and I won't unsubscribe to that just because it happens to come with a little sticker kit because I am mostly subscribed to it because of the other accessories that it comes with. However, I used to be subscribed to the Happy Scrappy sticker kit apart from the planner kit. I have unsubscribed from the sticker kit, but I am and will most likely still be subscribed to the planner kit once again because I want it mostly for like the papers and other items as well, but it does come with some stickers every month. But like I said, I unsubscribe from the sticker kit specifically. Um, I mainly want the other planner items that the kits come with. So that's the exception I have. My goal really is to not buy any new stickers apart from these subscriptions and to use the kits I have. I'm also planning on selling some kits that I feel like I like there's always something else I would rather use above that kit than I'd rather probably sell it to somebody who will appreciate it more. So I'm gonna go through everything and get rid of some stuff so it reduces my stash also, makes it a little bit easier on myself. And of course you might be wondering, but Hannah, you have a lot of accessories, you have lots of washi and other planner accessories as well. And I am going to reduce buying this. I'm gonna try to buy as little as possible when it comes to planning and crafting supplies. But I don't want to be too hard on myself. I want to start with one goal, one challenge, and this year I'm choosing stickers. I just, I'm afraid if I get too strict on myself, I might get overwhelmed and then just fail all completely because it gets too hard, if you know what I mean. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna start here, see how it goes. I might add on more restrictions later. I am coming back to the love of planning. I think it's really fun. And I also think it's gonna be even more fun when I actually get to know what I have. And so I like I can remember what kits I own and not just there's so much and there's new things coming in all the time. So I just I don't even know what I have. That's I think what causes the stress, because I like to be in control and I haven't been in control when it comes to this. So yeah. To conclude this video, I am not gonna stop using stickers. I'm just gonna stop buying them. So pretty kits like these um, are gonna be used and I am gonna try my best uh, to not get tempted and buy more. And I'm gonna try to make more plan with me so and I can update you on my process as well. That would be really fun. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post pictures there of things that I might not show on YouTube because I don't always have time to make a whole video. So I post a picture instead. So make sure to follow me on there. But yeah, that's really it. That's everything I came to say in this video. I hope I wasn't too all over the place and that it made sense to you. It doesn't really matter because I'm making this for myself so I can look myself in the eye when I'm watching this video in the future and be able to say, I did it, I made it, I succeeded. So yes, I'm excited and, and I am feeling challenged. But that's it. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.